How to rebirth the fastest with foggy puzzles in mining simulator. I'm locked in a basement, please. Okay, since a lot of you guys asked me how to rebirth faster without game passes on the video with game passes, I decided to make a shorter uh, tutorial to rebirth faster and I hope you understand it. If you don't, uh, again, leave your questions down below in the comment section. I'll try to explain my best. Thank you and enjoy the video. Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to rebirth faster without game passes. But in order to show you that, I will actually have to do a little transformation. <laughs> Whoa, what an interesting transition. Right, let's begin with the video. Ignore my avatar. This is not my account. I had to borrow one so I can show you this in Lava World. Uh, now let's begin with the tutorial. Right, so the items equipped is going to be the first part of the video. So the best thing to do is get a pet that's called the Shining Golden Pumpkin. If you don't have this, it doesn't really matter as long as you have a pet that whenever you click on it, it's going to say the statistics of the pet. And if it just increases your walk speed by yada yada yada, then it's going to make you faster at rebirthing. Why? Since you have no game passes, uh, you will not have the teleporter game pass, obviously. It's basically a game pass where you just uh, place a teleporter, like I can place it at the bottom of that, and I can just click and teleport there. So the reason I'm using a pet that's going to increase my speed is because we don't have this game pass, and we will have to walk like this, and then jump in the hole and get to the uh, bottom where we are at as soon as possible. Right. So the tip is basically mine to 100 depth or uh, depth around that. It's going to make it a lot faster, a lot better. Uh, if you want, you can mine gem blocks, which, as you can see, at the value, the value is 12 times higher than the normal level block. So if you mine like one of those or something like that. Though? I'm not sure um, how many uh, she needs for a rebirth. Yeah, just one and you basically rebirth. Depends on your statistics. Basically, higher higher rebirths get, uh, the easier it is to rebirth. By that, I mean, it doesn't change the difficulty to rebirth anymore. Whenever you rebirth, you rebirth easier and easier and easier over time. Now, to the, probably the um, last uh, part of this video, uh, which is going to be you having to know how many blocks uh, you need for one rebirth. So let's figure this out actually. So what about I mine 45,000? Can I rebirth with 45,000 blocks? No, I can't. I need to mine like 60,000, 75,000 blocks. And why I'm doing this, you're probably asking yourself, Reaper, why are you doing this? This is, this is so stupid, why would you do this? Well, if you know the number of uh, blocks, as you can see, this is a rebirth, so it's like 75,000 or 90,000, something like that. Uh, whenever you know the amount of blocks you need for one rebirth, it's going to get even faster since you have that knowledge. And knowledge is very important. That's it for this video. I love you guys. Goodbye. Did you hack my... No. <laughs>